Camera rolling action. So let me quickly show you how I can fit my XT4 with top handle and mic on top. Take the lens cap off, turn the power on. Now I'm ready to shoot. Pretty quick. This was actually shown in Peter McKinnon's video. So I kind of copied it and I really like it. At first, it looks like you're wasting a space, but no, it's not really. And the most important thing is the camera is ready. When you pick up the camera from the back, you just have to take the cap off and power on. And you are ready to start shooting. The top handle is Condor Blue with remote trigger here, up here, so that I can start, stop recording without taking off my hand from the top handle. The mic is Sennheiser MKE 400. I actually like this one better, but with this one, unfortunately, this thing is not going to fit in here. Usually, the mic on top of the camera is just for scratch audio anyway. And top handle is wrapped with leather strip. This actually makes a pretty big difference, especially when it's hot. My hand gets kind of sweaty and uh, I didn't realize until I do this, but it's, it slips. It's pretty slippery. With this one, no. That makes a huge difference in traction. The lens is vintage Canon FD 50mm f1.4. That's what I normally keep on my camera with Metabone Speed Booster. And uh, I have this thing because I usually shoot video. This actually makes shifting the focus much easier. And I also have Nissi True Color ND Vario, you know, variable ND. And uh, this thing comes off kind of easily, so I put a thread rocker, lock tight blue. Um, what else? Oh, and the uh, eye cap. This is by Guerrilla Cup, G Cup. This is really nice. You know, when outside is bright, I need to use a viewfinder a lot. And, and despite the look, it doesn't get in the way when you open close the flip out screen. Cool. The side handle is nice. You know, it doesn't take that long. To put it on. And when I have to do this while I am filming, I can brace uh, my elbow and upper arm toward my rib cage like this and operate the focus shifter. I do have a monitor, that's why I have a uh, monitor mount here, but often I don't have time to set up the whole thing. So I just have to grab the camera. That's also why I need a um, big eye cup. 
The side grip is also useful when you have to shoot from the hip, like this. Change. I can change the angle quick, like this. So taking off this um, attic divider, first you may think you are wasting a lot of space here, but actually no, you are not. This is supposed to be an everyday backpack anyway. You know, this is not a two-week expedition, adventure, photography, videography bag. No, this is meant for just holding minimum amount of gear that you need for that day. I have filter case. Uh, because I use filter quite a lot. And right, in case I need. I bought this one when it was on sale, like 45 bucks. I probably wouldn't have picked up for regular price. Oh. Rain cover. Oh, the B. In the flap pocket, rain cover and uh, some microfiber clothes and gun cleaning brush. bongo ties and uh, the extra strap. The same thing as this one. This is nice. I really like it. So basically, the whole setup is meant for quick draw, quick shoot. That's what I need. This is empty, but this is where my uh, lavalier mic that I am wearing right now goes in. Extra lens. This time, I have also Canon FD. 28 millimeter to f2.8. Extra battery, uh, memory card, extra light slash power bank. This is also nice. By Nightcore. Um, cable. And multi tool. Well, I guess that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.